Come with us as we celebrate 35 years of ministry as Charles Stanley brings into focus where our security lies. He says, I pray now, this is Paul's prayer, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you may know what is the hope of his calling, that's Christ calling in you, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. We're talking about you and I are going to be glory to him. Verse 19, what is the surpassing, look at these words, surpassing greatness of his power toward us or in us who believe, these are the accordance with the working of the strength of His might. All four of those words mean power, strength, might. And what He's saying is this. Our security in doing anything that God has called us to do is not in our energy, not in our strength, not in our power, but in the supernatural power, in the might, the strength, the anointing, the unction, the endowment of God upon your life to do whatever He's called you to do. So the person who says, well, Yes, I would serve the Lord, but I feel so insecure in your feelings. But remember what your relationship is. Remember that you are living in union with the ultimate source of all power who is Christ living and dwelling within you. And once in a while, some young man will walk the aisle and he says, I believe God's called me to preach, but I'm scared to death. And I always say to him, join the crowd. We all are until we learn who is the source. And in your vocation, where you are, you say, well, you know, sometimes I don't think I do too well because I feel so insecure and so inadequate. That's all right to feel that away. And listen, but then remember who you are. Remember who is living inside of you. And Jesus meant for his children to live secured in a life of insecurity, in a world of turmoil, in a world of strife, in a world of difficulty and hardship and heartache and trials and tribulations and hostility and jealousy and animosity, he intended for us to live absolutely secure because of our relationship, not because of our circumstances. Eternally secure in him, privileges and opportunities in him, possessions to be found in him, the power, the strength, the might, the energy to be found in him. Can you name one thing that you need as a person in which God has come up short? and has failed to give us a promise and to make provision. Anything. Can you think of any place where God has come up short? Any place? Anything he overlooked? Anything he missed? Listen. He says, you want to talk about life after death? You are eternally secure in my relationship through the blood of my son. You want to talk about doors of opportunity and privileges in life? In your relationship with my son who has a will for your life and who knows beginning to end and in whom there are no surprises and who has already opened the doors of opportunity and privilege for you, there is your security. You're concerned about having your needs met. He's our, he says, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Every single thing Paul saw, he saw it in union with Christ. Look what your union is with. Look what is accessible to you. Look what has already been deposited to your account. Look who you are. Yeah, but I'm not worthy of that. God didn't mean that for me. Oh, I wish it were true of me. You know what our problem is? It all boils down to one little simple word, and it's called trust. We don't believe he meant what he said. So I want to ask you, where's your security? Can't be in things and people. We let each other down, and things disappear. Can't be in position and prominence and prestige. They just evaporate like air. So the only security you have is in the person of Jesus Christ. And the truth is, all the security you and I will ever need. You see that book, old book? We call it the Holy Bible. That is God's full statement. Listen, this is God's full statement of our complete an eternal security, future and present, equally as promised.